Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Dan Does Tech Stuff. So on my last episode, I uh, was showing you how I did an unboxing of the Sterling Silver DualSense PlayStation 5 controller. And I was going to use this specifically for my iPad Pro. And so here it is. Um, before I was going back and forth between using my PS5 controller and then having to hook it up to my iPad. So I decided to, to buy one that's more dedicated to this device. Um, and if you're picking up a, a controller, uh, I recommend the Sterling Silver PS5 controller because then that way you can kind of say, hey, this is the uh, um, controller that I have specific for my iPad. So the way you uh, would connect the two together, you go over to your settings if you haven't done it already. You want to go over to Bluetooth and then on the controller itself, you want to hit that PlayStation logo and the share button so when you hit that it's going to blink blue and when that blinks blue like that you're going to go over to your ipad and again this works for the ipad ipad pro uh, ipads in general then you want to find your device and then click it and it's going to connect for you so then when you've got the orange buttons that means you're connected now i think the ipad in general it's like the ultimate remote play device so um, you can play PlayStation, Xbox, your Steam library. So um, I'll show you a couple cool things with it. So let's go ahead and try like the PlayStation 5. So to remote play in your PlayStation 5, you need what's called PS Play. So PS Play right there. Boom. And that's going to find your PlayStation 5 on your network. So my PlayStation 5 is on my network. I'm going to click into it and just a few seconds it's going to connect and it all uses this controller here so you can see that's my playstation 5 interface right my desktop there which is amazing and i will try out uh astrobot and see how that plays on it oh there it is so let's go ahead and hit dive in And it just looks phenomenal. If you if you see it in, in person, the screen, you know, you get that 12.9 inch screen and you get the remote play and the opportunity to play all different consoles at once if you like. So let's give that a go. And what I like about the iPad is the screen is phenomenal. It just has such clarity. All right, and Astrobot here is my favorite, like, family-friendly game for sure. It's like one of the best games to come out from Sony. Team of Sobo really kicked it, knocked it out of the park here. And let's just say, you know what? I want to play my like my Xbox games. So then you can you can scroll from the bottom here. Let's see if we can find a nice safe space here if I wanted to continue my game from the bottom you're gonna find you're gonna find Xbox and I use the OneCast app for Xbox remote play so you can kind of figure out where you are with your Xbox and again using the PlayStation 5 controller hooked up to your iPad is the best way to go you can ask me to reconnect and there I am I get to play Forza on my Xbox So pretty phenomenal that you can just go from one console to another and if I didn't want to play Forza anymore I could just hit the home button on here or the PlayStation button it'll take me home and then I can select any of my other games that I want to play which is fantastic and then if I want to go like I want to play my Steam library I can swipe up again from the bottom I'm gonna find my Steam you gotta find something called Steam Link and Steam Link is what lets you play games via remote play on your iPad using Steam Link. I'm going to hit start first. You got to have a PC connected to it. It recognizes the controller as a dual sense and it'll tell you if it's a good connection or not based on this indicator here. So I can hit start playing. 
And there you go. And let's just say I want to play like Tekken, right? I hit start there and there is Tekken running on my Steam account. Let's go ahead and do like a, an arcade battle here just to kind of show you what that gameplay will look like. Go medium. Left. Let's go to my boy King. As you know, you guys know I'm a big Tekken 8 fan. We'll just play one game, see how that uh, streams. Now again, what remote play is not perfect. Some days you'll get the best streaming, some days it's going to be on off. Depends on your network and how many devices are connected. But for the most part, you go, do get a pretty good streaming um, experience. And that's just for me using it kind of daily. When I don't want to be sitting in front of my like my my computer all day or my TV all day, I can just have my iPad and I can just play on that on the kitchen table. Here's my boy King. Let's see if we can do some combos here. And again, I love the PlayStation 5 controller. It's so ergonomic. Ah, uh, dang. Full rank. There you go. All right, here we go. Let's do my new move. All right, he's dead meat. <laughs> okay, so now if I want to go in between my games, I want to play my Xbox, go back into it. My Xbox should be waiting for me. There it is. Boom, boom. If I want to go back to Forza, resume. Where I left off, I can go back and play that. And if I'm done with Forza, I can go back into my PlayStation, just put pause, go find my PlayStation app, click back into it. Just gonna find my PlayStation on the network. And then lo and behold, I'm I'm back to playing Astro's Playroom. Which is really cool. So you can see the power of having one controller controlling all three different apps. So again, I'm using the PlayStation app called PS Remote Play. I'm also using the uh, OneCast. Because I think Xbox removed their ability to play through their app, which is weird. And then I use Steam Link for everything else for my Steam library of games. All right, let's go down the slide here. Nice. So I think that's just pretty incredible to have my iPad just being able to play all three systems. I want to go back, go back to my Xbox app. It's going to find it on the network. It's going to connect to in a couple seconds, reconnect my controller, and then I'm back to playing Forza if I want. Or by PlayStation, the that PlayStation button, I go home and play any of my other games here. Then I go back into Steam. And I can be playing Tech and And that's just what's phenomenal about this. Alright. Well, if uh, you have the iPad and you're considering remote play on it, I think this is a good option. So all in all, your iPad does everything uh, as far as like remote play and all you need to do is connect a controller to it. Okay, so if you found value in this video today, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. If it's your first time coming to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to support me even further, go ahead and look at the description. You can buy me a cup of coffee. That really helps out a lot as well. With that said, happy gaming. Take care of yourself and each other. I think this is a winning combo. Um, please go ahead and post something in the comments if you like. With that said, take care, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.